Hi, and thank you for joining me, Shani Lee, for yet another yoga flow. This one is just a good full body energizing flow to get the blood pumping, to get our bodies twisting and moving, whether that's because we're just waking up or we need a pick me up in the middle of the day or we're starting to need to wind down a little bit and want to stretch the day out. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me and I will see you on the mat. So we're going to get started in butterfly pose in Baddha Konasana. So that means bringing the soles of your feet together. Maybe you find a nice grip around your toes. If that's not accessible, you can always bring your feet further out. If you have blocks, you can place them underneath both knees or you can sit up on a block. So find your way in a position that works for you and we will meet here and close our eyes. <sighs> Starting to come into the breath, opening up the hips. Always a nice juicy moment here since most of us spend way too much time sitting or even if we do spend a lot of time standing or moving around, our hips take a lot of strain throughout the day. So taking a moment here to stretch into them to feel grounded in our seat. <sighs> Maybe we're taking a pause for the first time today to really notice our breath and our body, being intentional, being aware, being loving and patient and gracious with ourselves. Letting the belly fully expand. Not caring how it looks. And as we settle in here, if you want to start inviting gentle movements into the body, I invite you to do so. Maybe you start working into the neck a little bit. Noticing where something is tight or where something is more loose. Maybe you start to sway, letting the body move side to side, or maybe you find some torso circles, some hip circles, just whatever you need to do. Not worrying about how it looks, worrying about how it feels. for one more moment here. Each of us doing our own thing collectively together wherever we are while we watch this video. And slowly we'll bring it back to center. Let's take one more moment here. And a big exhale out. You can slowly start to open your eyes. And we're going to start to bring our right knee in and then going to bring this part right above the knee near the sole of the other foot. So finding a position here. Again, if you need a block, you can always put a block under the knees. If this position isn't accessible, you can stack your knees in some way. So finding what feels good to you if we are in the full mermaid position or whatever variation and on your next inhale arm, sweep up into the sky. Maybe you interlace your fingers, open into the shoulders and the chest. Maybe you look up and then right hand comes to the mat. Start to stretch it over. Not caving our chest in quite yet, keeping it nice and open. And we're going to start to rainbow our arms. So now we cave our chest down to the ground and rainbow your arms over to the other side. Now opening the chest and extending the other arm. Exhale, cave forward, rainbow your mermaid and open. Exhale, bow forward, find your rainbow sweep. Open one more time. Joining movement. And breath, now coming to that second side, your left hand is on the ground, your right hand is in the sky. Maybe you stay here, maybe you push into your hand to lift your hips and open your mermaid. Or merman. 
or mer non-binary, mer people, mer person, right? And exhale, sit down. And now this leg that is bent off to the side, we're going to bring it in front of the other crossed leg. Resettle into a Sukhasana variation here. Open the chest, breathe in, and bow forward, exhale. Continuing open up into the hips. Nice and juicy stretch. Exhale it out. Slowly roll the torso up and we're going to bring that to the other side. Now bending the left leg, bringing the left knee behind the sole of the right foot, resettling, organ stacking if that's more accessible. And just finding some type of slight twist in the lower body here. And next inhale brings your arms up. We'll find a nice shoulder opening stretch again. One more round of breath here. And now your left hand comes to the mat, stretch it over, keeping our chest open for the moment before we find our rainbow. One more round of breath here. And now cave your chest forward, right hand comes to the mat, swing it around and open it up on the other side. Breathe in, breathe out, sweep it around. Breathe in, first side, exhale, breathe out. One more time. Exhale as you sweep your arms around. Open your chest. Find a nice big breath. And exhale. Bring it back to the second side. Bring it back to the right side. Open up. And maybe you stay here. Maybe you push into your hand to lift your hips. Opening your mer person up to the sky. Or if there is a roof above you like me, imagining you're opening up to the sky. Exhale, sit your hips down and now bring again this bent foot around, placing it in front of the other leg, finding a cross in the other direction. Inhale, puff your chest forward and exhale, pour it over, bow your head, release something in the neck. Maybe you make yes or no movements. One more round of breath here. Exhale, side up, start to roll the spine up and we will come into our Bharmanasama tabletop pose. So coming onto our hands and knees, however we need to do that. Shoulders and hips aligned with your hands underneath, in line with your knees, taking a moment here to find movement in your body as you need. Again, not caring what it looks like. One more round of breath here. And we're gonna do some nice flow through cat, cow, childs, and Vajrasana. So bear with me, start to find your center. As you inhale, drop your stomach as if you're in cow pose, but slightly bend your elbows too. And then as you exhale, start to arch your back like a cat, tuck your chin, and then start to bring your hips near your tailbone. Roll the spine up, sitting on your heels, arms sweep up into the sky, and then lift up onto your knees, high Vajrasana pose. And now we're going to do that a few more times, quicker and quicker. Drop back to tabletop, almost going straight into your cow, bending your elbows, kind of slithering your chest through as you breathe in. Finding your cat as you exhale, breathing out, arch your back and start to sit back onto your heels. Tuck the chin, roll it up, arms reach up into the sky as you breathe in, high Vajrasana, coming up onto your knees and coming back to your cow pose. <sighs> Exhale it out as you kind of slither your chest forward, inhale, finding cow. Exhale, finding your cat as you sit it back. <sighs> Let's do this about three more times on your own breath. Now that we're getting into it, inhale, high Vajrasana. Exhale, slither it through, cow. Exhale, cat, sit it back. One more time, rise it up. Exhale, full flow here, drop into your cow, slither your chest forward. Exhale, cat, sit your hips back. Lift up, your arms can go either to the side or front. 
And the exhale, hands come back to the mat, slither through, exhale, breathe in, find cow. And we will sit back via cat pose, exhale, into a balasana pose, child's pose, let your hands stretch out. <sighs> Starting to feel nice and warm, hopefully. And on your exhale, walk your hands over towards the right. Maybe you stack your left hand on top of your right to find a nice side extension. I don't know why my voice, I feel like my voice is cracking, so I do apologize for that. Exhale, start to walk it over to the other direction. Maybe you stack right hand on top of the left. Bring it back to center. Settle in here just a little bit longer. And now slowly start to walk your hands just a little bit further in so that your chest is a little bit more lifted off of your legs. And we're going to bring our right hand behind our right ear, opening it in like this triangle shape here. Inhale, twist and open to the right as far as is accessible. And exhale, bring it and maybe tuck it over towards the left knee. Inhale, open up. Exhale, right elbow to left knee. Inhale. And exhale. Bring it back to center. Extend your hands out again like a seal pose. And now left hand comes behind left ear. And open your chest. And left elbow to right knee. Exhale. Twice more. Inhale. And exhale. Really feeling your shoulder blades move together. Inhale. Opening from the upper back just as much as the low back. Exhale. And come back through center. Release. Exhale, fold it back, and we're going to slither our way from child's pose into cobra. So it can be a low cobra pose or a high, but start to lift your hips. Elbows are on the mat to help slither your way forward as you either come into your low cobra, rolling your shoulders and your triceps back, or maybe you push into your hands to find high Bhujangasana rising cobra here. Maybe shift side to side if that feels good. Getting into the hip flexors. One more round of breath. And we're going to come into our first downward facing dog of the day. Start to tuck your toes, engage your core. If you need to come into a type of tabletop and then lift up, go from there. Either way, we'll meet an Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedal your feet out, just getting into it. <sighs> And then you kind of dip and move side to side. <sighs> Whatever works for you. <sighs> for one more round of breath here. And then come back to center, maybe find a little bit more stillness. And we'll move through three different types of vinyasa when we do the knees, chest, chin, slither like we did before. So as you're ready on your inhale, begin to lift your heels. And on your exhale, drop your knees, bend your elbows, drop your chest, and then your chin, and then pull and slither your way forward, either into a high cobra or your baby cobra. Either way, shoulders are back. Tuck your toes, balasana. Push your hips back like we did earlier, coming from cat pose and then lift it back up to downward facing dog. And we will do that two more times. As you're ready, inhale, lift the heels, exhale, knees to the mat, drop your chin and your chest, slither on through, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Finding child's pose, Balasana, bring it back as you tuck your toes and extend your legs. Once more, inhale, exhale, knees drop, knees, chest, chin. Breathe it in, Cobra. Breathe it out, exhale, Balasana, as we lift then into a downward facing dog. Settle here. Big exhale. And now from here, start to bring your hands just a little bit more together. And if that means you need to activate, kind of bring your elbows out slightly to activate the outer part of your shoulder blades. Ground down into the left foot. Inhale, right leg lifts, and we're going to step outside of our right hand into lizard pose. Exhale, step it out. Shine your chest forward as you breathe in. 
and we'll take it back to downward facing dog. Exhale, stretch it back. Inhale, left leg lifts. Big stretch, three-legged dog. Step your foot outside of your left hand. Lizard pose, maybe sink your hips a little bit as you shine your chest forward. Downward facing dog, exhale, step it back. Once more, inhale, right leg stretches into the sky. And exhale, step outside your right foot, lizard pose. This time coming back into three-legged dog, right leg kicks back, inhale. Exhale, feet together. Left leg lifts, inhale. Left leg lizard, exhale. Inhale here. And exhale, three-legged dog, left side, kick it back. And bring your feet together. And now we will step up, jump up if you need to go one, two, or you can jump as you wish. We will come into yogi squat, malasana. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, exhale, gaze forward, and jump your feet outside of your hands, sitting your hips down, bringing the palms of your hands together. Again, here is another good place where you can use a block if you need to go there today. Either way, settling in two, Garland pose. Maybe you close your eyes, reconnect with your breath, starting to feel nice and warm. One more round of breath here, and we will squat to rise three times. As you're ready, your arms start to sweep up and out as you lift up into the sky. Palms come back together, driving down towards the center of your chest as you sink it down again, twice more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring it down. Nice mobility here in the hips. Last time, inhale. And stay standing. Exhale, let your hands come to heart center. Maybe your feet adjust just a little bit. And breathe it out here. One more round of breath, and now we'll start to move into our flow. Inhale, arms lift up to the sky, finding your forward fold, soft bend in the knees, pour over your legs, hands come to the mat, or two blocks if you need to lift the floor up. Adjust your feet here, little by little. Exhale, side out. Find a flat back, hands come right below the knees, Ardha Udhanasana, inhale. Stay in your forward fold, exhale as you bow down again. Hands on the mat or on the block slightly in front of your feet. Find a place where you can take the weight off of one of the feet and not fall over to the side. And as you're ready, we will extend our right leg back as we find Ardha Uttanasana or a cobra-like pos position, posture in the chest. Inhale, holding here. And knee to nose, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, standing splits to a nice little knee crunch. Exhale, last extension here and bring your feet together. Exhale, reposition and we'll move to the other side. Breathe it out. And now left leg lifts on the inhale. Hold here, maybe come onto your fingertips, trying to find a strong back. And then maybe exhale, you bring it in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Breathe it out. Last extension here. And both legs come together. Exhale, fold it over. Big sigh out. Halfway lift, inhale hard, Uttanasana, and move through your vinyasa flow, bowing down, bending your ears, planting your hands, either stepping or hopping your way back. Elbows in, maybe lower halfway down, maybe all the way down. As then you extend your arms, drop your hips into your upward facing dog. And exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take a moment here, pedal it up. One more round of breath here. And then start to find stillness. And on your exhale, bend your elbows just slightly. They don't need to touch the mat and push them back. Twice more, extend, bend your elbows. Push it back. Exhale, bend and push. Now the knees, bend your knees, trying to bring your chest close to the thighs and extend. 
Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Or whatever type of breath pattern works. And extend. Big breath out. And now inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky. And bend your knees, scorpion leg, your three-legged dog. Ekapada Adamukha Svanasana. One more round of breath, and then we'll move forward into a plank if you need to drop your knee onto the mat and do this from a tabletop you can. Otherwise, right knee finds right elbow as we move forward into a plank and bring it back. Exhale to the center now. Inhale, extend back, scorpion leg. Now to the left, exhale, crossing it under. Moving back in, reverse, open. Exhale towards the center. Inhale, open. And exhale towards your right elbow, hold here. Really tuck everything in. And now drop your right knee. Open your right foot out to the side. Drop your left foot on the mat. Weight in your right hand. And open your left arm into a gate variation. Looking up to the sky or looking down, whatever feels better in your neck. One round of breath here. And we'll find a nice rainbow arm in the upper body. Exhale, so start to move your hand towards the mat. And then hold open it up again. It doesn't matter what direction it goes. Exhale, either forward or back first. Inhale, open. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open. Now reposition your hand if you need to have better balance in order to lift your leg off of the mat. Drop right. And drop left, whoop, it's okay if you fall down just like I did. Drop left bicep over left ear and exhale, crunch it in. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Inhale, exhale twice more here, feeling a nice burn. Inhale, extend, exhale, tuck it in. Inhale, extend, last time, exhale, tuck. Inhale, and now from here, start to bend your leg, grab your foot and open up into a nice stretch here again looking up or down whatever feels better one more round of breath here slowly release your foot stretch your arm drop your foot to the mat and now use your core to lift everything up and bring your extension towards the other side one more moment here. And then this top hand comes behind your top ear. And like we did earlier, we'll bring it in. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, to open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open. And cartwheel your hands all the way back down to the mat. Come back onto your left toes, readjust. Lift your right knee up into the sky. Hold here just one second. And then shoot it all the way back. Three-legged dog, big stretch. And both feet come together, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a round of breath here. And now, remember we did a little earlier when we dropped our knees and slithered through? You can do that. Or you can try the version where we don't drop our knees and we just drop our chest. So either version, you begin by breathing in, lifting your toes. And now from here, either drop your knees and slither your chest forward, knees, chest, chin, or bend your elbows, drop your chest to the mat, and then slither through towards your cobra pose. And either coming back into balasana or starting to tuck your toes as you push your hips back with the knees lifted to come into Crouching Tiger and extend. So choosing your version, we'll do that for two more rounds. Everyone inhale, lift your heels, either drop your knees to the mat or just drop your chest. Everyone slither through into your Cobra Pose and either coming into child's pose or crouching tiger, knees on or off the mat, chest reaches towards your thighs, stretch it up, downward facing dog. Once more, inhale to lift, exhale to dive and slither, inhale to expose the chest forward and exhale to come back 
into downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. And now we'll do our gate on the other side. This time inhale, lift your left leg, bend your knee. Hold here for a second in your scorpion three-legged dog. Try not to open your chest, but keep it facing the mat. And again, if you want to be in tabletop and open and find your crunch as you can, otherwise on the exhale, left knee to left elbow, kiss. Open it up, breathe in. Center, exhale. Open, inhale. Crossing it underneath towards the right. Breathe in. In reverse, coming through the center, exhale. Opening. Exhale, come back to the left, hold it here, really tuck it in. And now drop your left knee, kickstand your foot out. Come onto the right foot and wait in the left hand, open your right arm to the sky. You can look up, you can look down, you can look straight ahead, whatever feels best in the neck. And we'll find our rainbow arms, exhale, drop it forward. And open it up. Exhale, forward and down. Inhale back and open, or you can be going in reverse, whichever feels best. And come back to your gate, and now adding a little bit of core work, lift your back leg off the mat, readjust your front hand if you need. Right bicep or over right ear, and exhale, draw it in. Inhale, extend four more times. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, inhale, actually we might be doing six, I lost count, so exhale, sorry about that. Inhale, and now bend your leg, reach back, grab your foot, and find a nice calf, or quad stretch, I should say. <laughs> Maybe your calf is stretching too. Slowly release, and then drop your back foot to the mat, lift everything up, come into your high gate, and find an extension towards the other side. Take a nice juicy moment here to stretch it out. And now your top hand comes behind your ear, and exhale, draw it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, open it up, cartwheel everything back, come back onto your right toes, readjust everything, squaring off to the mat, lift your leg, hold it there just for a moment, three-legged dog, shoot your foot straight back, and exhale, feet come back together, downward facing dog. Take a breath in here, big sigh out, and coming back to our yogi squat, either jumping or stepping, inhale, to prep, lift the heels, bend the knees, gaze forward as you exhale, and jump forward into finding your yogi squat. <sighs> Taking a moment here, take your right hand on your next inhale, open it up, and maybe extend your left arm into the sky, looking up. <sighs> Bring it together and find a twist in the other direction. One more round of breath. Bring it in, hands come to heart center and we'll find our way to standing. Inhale, lift it all the way up, arms reach up into the sky and come back to heart center. So from here, start to find a nice solid stance in your feet, practicing a little bit of balance. We'll do one more little nice powerful flow on each side before we bring it down. Big breath in here, big breath out, feeling the body nice and warm. And now find again the weight in your feet where you feel like you can take the weight off of one and still be okay and not fall over. And when you're ready, start to lift your left knee into the sky, finding staff pose. Hands can be at your heart center or can be lifted up into the sky, whichever feels best. And we're going to fly back, fighting for balance here, finding our warrior three. Hands can stay at your chest, hands can extend forward. 
You can even fly in them back or out, whichever feels best for you. Holding here. Finding a cobra in the chest. Keep your leg lifted, exhale, fold your chest over your leg, square everything off to the mat. If it's not, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Twice more, inhale, halfway lift. Again, you can use blocks under hands if you need, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, and now weight in your right hand. Start to open your hip out, and maybe you take the weight out of your left hand. You can staring at the mat. Maybe you try to stare forward or even up. Here in half moon pose, Ardha Thandrasana. And then maybe if you want, bend your knee. Fighting for balance here, it's okay. And maybe you grab your foot and find your nice quad stretch, candy cane pose. Smiling through it, <laughs> one more round of breath. Slowly release, find your half moon again. Square everything back off to the mat, leg stays lifted and we're going to hop one legged back into a three legged plank if that works for you. If not, just find a plank and move through your vinyasa flow. And exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, we'll meet in downward facing dog, very good. Breathe it out. And then exhale, find stillness, inhale, right leg lifts, scorpion leg your dog. And now maybe you stay here or maybe you flip your dog coming into wild thing. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in and out. Once more, exhale. And slowly start to cartwheel your hands back to the mat. Find your scorpion like three like a dog. And exhale, bring your right knee towards your left elbow. D extend your leg, drop your foot. Come into a better position on your back foot and find your fallen triangle. <sighs> really lifting your hips up, inviting the shaking here. <sighs> One more moment. And what everyone wants to do, I'm sure, exhale, sit it down. Bring your back foot, the one that was extended out, now in towards the inner part of your extended leg. In arms, lift up into the sky, and exhale, fold it over, Janu Shirsasana. You can either have your chest folding down into your leg, or you can maybe find a nice little side opening stretch, whichever feels best for you. One more moment here. Start to lift it up, inhale, plant your hands back onto the mat, extend the bent leg now back out. Legs come and your mat, find a mm, variation of your fallen triangle, bring your leg in, extend it back through your legged dog, and come back to downward facing dog. One round of breath. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Jumping forward, inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, and find your way to Malasana. Sit it down, breathe in. Exhale, breathe it out. <sighs> right arm extends, open up, left arm. Now stay here, or option to find your bind if that serves your practice today. <sighs> One more round of breath. Exhale, release, open up, bring it back to center, and now we'll move to the other side. Left arm extends towards the ground, right arm towards the sky, stay here, or find your bind, if you know that's available to you. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. Open and release, arms come back to center, everyone, and we all stand up together. Inhale, reach up into the sky, and exhale, hands come heart center, very good. Doing that all on the other side, start to find your balance in your feet again, bringing them in closer towards center. Let the sweat fall, big exhale out, and arms circle up, or they stay at your chest, whichever you want, as you bring your right knee now into the sky, finding standing staff pose. Holding here for one round of breath. Exhale, and finding your warrior. Either hands stay extended, come to heart center, or maybe they fly back behind you. 
Virabhadrasana three. Shoulders moving away from ears. One more round of breath, keep your leg lifted. Exhale, fold your hands to the mat, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, lift, and now open your hips out towards the long edge of your mat. Weight in your left hand, maybe with a block. Open your right arm to the sky, really lifting your back heel up. Maybe you look forward, maybe you keep your gaze on the mat wherever your balance is today. Ardha Dhrandasana, half moon pose. And again, maybe you find candy cane, bending your leg to grab your foot and open up. Whichever works for you. One more round of breath here. Big sigh out. Slowly release, keep your leg lifted, hands come back to the mat, square everything off, bend into your standing leg, and one leg jump back, three-legged plank, adjust as you need. Inhale, shift your weight forward, lower halfway down, chaturanga, slither on through, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Big sigh in, big sigh out. And inhale, left leg lifts now, scorpion leg your dog, stay here. Or maybe you drop your foot behind you and flip your dog into wild thing. Three more rounds of breath here. One more round of breath. Feeling nice and strong. It's okay if you don't. Exhale, start to find your hands back onto the mat. Find your scorpion leg dog if you need to adjust a little bit. And now bring your left knee towards your right elbow. Extend your foot out, drop it down, and find fallen triangle on the other side. Breathe through it. One more round of breath. And sit it on down. That leg that was extended back now comes in. I'm gonna turn on my mat just cause we're running out of room here. Big inhale up. Big exhale fold. Janu Shir Shasana. One more round of breath. Exhale it out. Coming back into our fallen triangle, lift it up. Extend your leg back out. Exhale, hands start to turn back towards the mat, however you need. Lift it back up. Bring your leg back in. Find your three-legged dog, big extension. And exhale, feet come together and downward facing dog on the mat. Take one more round of breath here. Exhale, side out, nice job. We'll do three more dives. Again, that's knees, chest, chin, slither, or that's just diving the chest. As you're ready, inhale, lift your heels, everyone. Exhale, dive your chest forward, everyone. Slither through all together in your variation. And go straight to down facing dog on your exhale. Going over crouching tiger and balasana, unless you want to add it in, twice more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And last time, inhale, exhale, <laughs> inhale, and exhale. Very good. That was our last strength portion, guys. Very nice. Starting to cool down. Inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky. Exhale, right knee and elbow kiss. Swing your foot over towards the left. Drop your hips, readjust as you need to come into Pigeon Pose. Hekapada Raja Kapotasana. So here you can keep your chest up, or you can start to fold it over. Maybe you stay on your elbows, maybe you cave your chest all the way in. Whatever feels good, nice and juicy for you today. And I'm using that word a lot. I feel juicy, but I feel like that's what it feels like right now. Hmm. 
We'll be here for about five more rounds of breath. About two more rounds. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Wherever you're at, start to come back onto your hands. And we'll come back into a downward facing dog. Tuck your back toes, lift everything up, and stretch it back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, side out. <sighs> and moving to the other side. Inhale, leg lifts, big stretch. Left elbow and left knee meet. Swing your foot over. Adjust and drop down as you need to find pigeon pose here on the other side. Maybe keep your chest up just for a moment since it is a slightly different stretch. And before then, as you wish or as you need, starting to fold your chest over and down. Two more rounds of breath, guys. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. And we'll slowly start to make our way on to our back. So if that means dropping your hips and swinging around, that's perfect. We're going to come into bridge pose. And so if you know from here on out you want to take more of a restorative part to your practice, you can always have a blanket. I forgot to mention, you can always have that under your knees at any point if your knees are hurting you. Um, you can always have it underneath your legs or your knees when you go through Shavasana or underneath your low back. <clears throat> or you can take a low block underneath your low back. Either way, we'll all come into a bridge pose. And I will cue moving through wheel pose and a shoulder stand. And so if you know that doesn't work for you anymore, if you just want to take a nice kind of yin style ending and place the block underneath your sacrum, you can do that and stay here perfectly fine. Otherwise, I will guide a few more power poses to close out the class. Exhale here, everyone settle into wherever you are. And if you're coming with me into wheel, arms lift up in the sky, inhale, so let them fall back, biceps by ears, take a second there. Maybe you prep a little bit, moving your hips in like a windshield wiper type of way. And then slowly start to bring your hands by your ears, fingers pointing towards your shoulders. You can push up and rest on the top of your head for a second and then all the way up. Or you can go all the way up in one, starting to find where you know that your feet need to be, starting to adjust as needed. And then as you're ready, finding your Dhanurasana wheel pose. Remembering to breathe if you like to play here by lifting one leg up or the other or being on your toes, you can really squeeze through your glutes and protect your low back, opening up your arms. One more round of breath here. And exhale, drop it down nice and slow. Take a second if you were with me there. Maybe let your hands come to your stomach. Maybe find a gentle windshield wiper again. Please start to bring everything back to your bridge. And now coming into a shoulder stand, starting to walk your hands under, lift your hips. I like to link my fingers together and put my tailbone kind of in the triangle that I form around my wrists. And then using a little bit of moment, I bring my knees in and adjust up as I need. Again, you can stay in one position, you can play bending your knees. 
and whatever feels good for you in this moment. Hands on your low back for support. And then maybe with control, you drop straight leg or bent knee into a loss and a plow pose. Hands can stay on your low back or they can extend out. Myself gently kind of roll up and then slowly fall back onto the mat. Feet come to the earth. Bend your knees together. Take a moment here, let the body reincorporate everything. And then whatever else your body needs, I invite you to find it if you need to readjust to spread into your Shavasana. You can also do a Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly pose. If you still want to stretch into the hips, you could do reclined pigeon. Whatever else you need, I invite you to find that there. Maybe then you stretch out. I'll take a few minutes here. To find a final rest. Letting the body sink into the earth. Trying to find muscular release. breath here unless you want to pause the video you can always do that and stay for a bit longer I'm always a proponent of a longer Shavasana whichever you need but otherwise you can start to find gentle movement in the body maybe you come on to one side However, you need to roll yourself up. As we come into a final seat here, whichever that means to you, Spine nice and tall. Maybe your hands come to heart center, or they can stay on your knees or come to your third eye space. As always, I thank you for joining me here. Today, I hope you enjoyed this Flow. I tried to do a nice balance of power and stretching. So, right, like strength and ease at the same time. Just get our bodies moving, get the blood flowing, get a nice stretch and continue on with our day at whatever point that may be. Thank you again, the light in me. 
honors the light in each of you. Namaste.